All right, yeah, let's get I to the larger so. thing, John. We've been talking about this for the first hour of the show, but what's your opinion? This offense has sputtered. Yeah. So I went through three right and again. outs. In the first nine games, they only had 12 three and outs. They've had 12 in yeah. the last three. If you yeah. looked at punts in the first nine games, Trustway only had 19 punts. He's got 17 in the last three. Yeah. You watch film. You look back at games. What is kind of your larger picture takeaway of what's happened with Cliff Kingsbury's offense? So, a couple of things. One, first of all, like it's one thing Pittsburgh and Philly have good defenses. Not sure. that that's always an excuse, but it's a it's a reality. Like you're facing a better defense, you're like, okay, you know. And they they Philly they really got stopped, and and Pittsburgh they you know 27 points, whatever. And there were opportunities. There were and like Pittsburgh didn't feel bad about because they. They had more opportunities. It was just like you missed this throw, you dropped this one, you missed this block. Right? There were several plays where that game is different if one of those plays is made. Right? So, but but the point is they were there to be made, and so that felt different. The last two last week it was bad, and then yesterday it was bad, and and that's and Dallas does not have a good defense. They do not do a good job stopping the run. They did yesterday. So to me, so much of it starts with the run game, and that has been non-existent the last few weeks. And again, I know you're facing good teams, but if you have a good offense, those are the teams you can still you are allowed to do well against. Still, so I think it starts there, and they're getting put into worse situations on third down. Then you know, there's there's very little in the pass game that has looked the same as far as the rhythm and the timing of everything. But I do think some of that is like the run game is not as effective. They're not, they're also not running as much tempo. And they did a little bit yesterday, but they haven't been able to get to that as much. And whether that's a byproduct of not being in good situations, not converting on third down, um, those are issues because they seem to like to do that after third down conversions, right? So, you know, those, it all adds up. But it's, you know, watching it again, like, Dallas, the last mo, Philly didn't do it as much, but most of the last, however many games, Chicago Giants, um, Pittsburgh, like they're blitzing more than they do in other games. And Dallas did, I think they had 16 five man rushes yesterday, which is their season high. Um, now on those, like some, sometimes at times it felt like the Tampa game, where you felt like the line was getting fooled more than as much as sometimes definitely beaten but they're they did the same stuff they're chipping the edges they're, the backs are in you know to for blitz pickup one time you know the back doesn't see the blitz coming off the edge and so uh, off the other edge so like there it's just but i think to me it goes back to the run game it has not been good and it's turning them into a one-dimensional team and then it's getting into more third and long and then they're blitzing more and whether it's forcing a quick throw, a sack, a scramble, whatever. So it's just, it's certainly a way out of rhythm. And, um, you know, again, you can look at it and say, oh, Philly's really good, short week. This was not a short week. This was a, you know, and this was not a good defense. And this was not a good run defense. And they didn't get it done. And I know they ended up with over 400 yards, but like, that's, I mean, we, they, we they know had, the true story. Yeah, they had nine points exactly. with four minutes to go. Hey, John, they were, uh, averaging, exactly, they were averaging 3.9 yards per pass midway through the fourth quarter. Yeah, yeah, not great. Uh, a team has never needed a buy as much as this commander's team, which they're Correct. getting in week 14, and that's insane that the NFL has buys yes. that late, but that's another story. But Three in a row, three years in a row. I know, it's it's crazy. Uh, but you touched on the running back room, and, I mean, scary scene with Austin Eckler being helped off the field. I mean, yeah. that, both teams kneeling at midfield. I mean, terrifying. Hopefully he's okay. But yeah. uh, Brian Robinson gets folded over early in the game. Uh, they released Chris Rodriguez. Like that running back room going forward, at least for the next week, it just looks there's a lot of question marks there. How do they how do they attack that going forward? Well, you can bring Rodriguez back. Yeah, that was that was designed to to create a spot for Javante uh, Jean Baptiste, and they you know the it, he can go he go right back to the practice squad. But now you're going to need him. Be, you know, depending on what we hear about. I mean, it did not look great with Eckler. I know he went to the hospital last night. They set out of abundance of caution, but you know that's you know that was a scary scene. And um, if nothing, I mean, it would be surprising to see him back out there this weekend. But with Robinson, I don't know. What we know is that he you know he's had multiple injuries this year, 
and he couldn't go back in the second half. Um, so you have to wonder about that. So Rodriguez can come back in, right? Um, and you and you still have um, McNichols. So they are, and they have Michael Wiley on the practice squad. So they they have options. It's just not, you know, it's not the same. And you know that it's 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 a hit. It's it's the wrong time. Plus the other part, the other problem is too, the line is banged up. That to me is as big a problem as anything. And um, you know, uh, Biadish playing was had to go out for was evaluated for a concussion, but he's been dealing with some, you know, foot stuff. And um, Wiley is in concussion protocol. That is another one. So there's mm. just there's a lot of issues there. You're right. Like they desperately need a buy, but I think it also highlights too, like um, just how the need to build um, really good depth for any team. 